Welcome to the online information of the Aki Open Day in 2020. My name is Ina Bode and I will explain you something about the course Cross Media Design. Cross Media Design is a top rated program and is on the first place on the national ranking of the design courses. Cross Media Design is founded based on the history and tradition of graphic design. But in the 90s, a lot of changes happened due to automatization and digitalization like the computers. All of you know that we work with computers since then. It was a main shift in the work field. Everything changes. And it's a good quote from Professor Jan Rotmans, who says, we don't live in an era of change, but in a change of era. And that's what we feel and see right now, also due to Corona. Those changes have emerged during the 90s in the working field of designers. And I see ourselves as the first people who really needed to understand that the working field will never be the same again. The changes of education and work situation and knowledge is also topic in the World Economic Forum in Davos in Switzerland. The main heads of the world, the clever people, are discussing what do employees need, what kind of education do they need, and what kind of skills do they need if they want to be in a job 10 years from now or 20 years from now. And they were telling us from the last meeting that those skills should be creativity, problem solving, and critical thinking. So it's about job expertise. And the expertise is more or less a profession. This profession is defined in a certain field. And it's professional knowledge and skills which gives you that expertise and profession. And what is very important, it's recognizable to society, which means if you are a hairdresser, everyone knows what a hairdresser is. It's the same everywhere. It's a recognizable definition. And that has changed. If we look back 20 years ago, in the design field, there have been jobs who have had a description, like bookmaker, typesetter, scanner operator. And every square here defines an advertisement in a newspaper with a total logical job description, where everyone knew this is what I need to know, this is what I will earn from it, this is what my boss will ask me. But those times are gone. Now the field of expertise is totally mixed, focused, or a combination of different fields. Nowadays, it's a graphic designer with skills in HTML or Python, or it's a storyteller who is also capable of making films, a vlog maker with knowledge about identity. So everything changed, and we do not have a description of some of those jobs yet. And um, when you are older than 30, you probably do not even know those jobs, but I'm sure the younger ones know that. And one of the last job descriptions, for example, is Snapchat director. It hasn't been a job five years ago. There was not Snapchat. So the field is already changing again very fast. And this will happen to the rest of the economy as well in the future, which means that the students nowadays have to earn capacities and knowledge and expertise on different fields so that they are capable to make their own decision in the huge field of design. The student has to make a decision based on talent and fascination. And this is more or less what the course Cross Media is about. The main story behind it is also the function of a creative team. Um, if we all would receive a mail right now with a description of a new job by mail, and we all would read it, how could we work together and make one idea out of it? Probably some people would say, mm, let's brainstorm, but that this doesn't work out. We have to have a structure, we have to have a process, and we have to make decisions. And those decisions are made 
by one single person. In the creative team, we have talented persons who work with illustration, for example, others who do image, and image, I mean, a drawing as well as photography image. Some people are very good in text, so they write text, copy text or headlines. And probably we also have a team member who is good in code. And I'm sure we have someone who is good and capable in doing desktop publishing or So our students follow the course course media design to work in the position of an art director after the course. An art director is a person who gets the question. So imagine we all would have had an email with a description of the job. It would have been a question. And the question is not to all of us. The question will go to the art director. The art director is the problem owner. The art director is the one who is reading the assignment job question and who is doing the analysis, developing an idea, making sketches and try to make a concept. The art director is also the creative center. He or she is the one who defines all elements and who is giving the jobs to the team members. The art director is a visual sense maker because the result has to give an answer to the question, to the problem. And last but not least, the art director is the content authority. He or she is responsible for the results and for all the parts of the team members. If we look into the first three capacities the students will be graded on during the course Chris Media Design, those three aspects are similar to the ones from the World Economic Forum. Creating ability, critical reflection, growth and innovation are the main aspects. Uh, there are four more, which is organizational capacity, communicative ability, environmental focus, and last but not least, collaboration. All those seven aspects are graded every semester and of course also graded when the students graduate. Uh, the subjects of the lectures are different. Um, it's based on graphic design, uh, text, color, form, shape, um, typography, image, and the relations of all those elements. And that's based in text and graphic lectures. The next one is photography and film as well as illustration animation. And there's something special going on here. Illustration and photography, of course, is static information. And film and animation is the motion part of it. In cross-media design, we do not have any difference between static or motion. It's only a technique. And um, the time as a factor is uh, included. Photography is static and film is motion. And if you see the payoff, the end of a film, you can see that the director of photography is the one who is responsible for the film. So it's the same medium, only with a new factor like motion, which is time, of course. And the same with illustration. Um, if you draw an illustration and you're talented in that and you give some, anima some motion to it, a moving part, it's an animation. So in cross-media design, it's a combination of both. Um, the students will also learn about the material um, to develop products. Um, everything is based on an idea um, and to be described as a concept, sometimes in um, theoretical form and sometimes developed as a final result. It depends on the year the student is studying in. Um, the next part of subject is uh, design theory and last but not least, philosophy. The students get all those skills and knowledge, but most of all, they get insight uh, in their own talent and fascination. Because what we do is we give them room to find out what they can do well, better than others, what they like to do, what their fascination is, and all this information we're going to develop and um, make a profession out of it. The insight 
inside what are my talents and interests is very important, but the overview is also very important. Overview about the huge working field with all its aspects, all its technical possibilities. Uniqueness is very important because we do not copy lecturers, we do not copy students. In a group of 25 students, every student is different and every student is studying a different program. What we want to develop is expertise to become a professional, the learn skills, preservances, and of course, a network. And the network already starts at the first day of the study and the class together with the fellow students because all of them are different all of them have different capacities and knowledge and once they graduate they already have a network of 20 or 50 experts they can always um, ask for connection or collaboration what they also get is a focus and that's very important because uh, there are so many options and you have to make choices for that you need to have a focus to make those choices. And you do that together with a special mentor, it's your personal mentor, so the student can address questions and discuss talents and wishes and dreams. The student also develops an attitude, which is a professional attitude. Uh, there are deadlines, there are budgets, um, there are presentation skills where you have to discuss something with a client. And the attitude for that is very important, which makes a very strong motivation necessary, um, a good process, overview of the process, so that the student has authenticity to conquer the field and to claim a position. And the position is a choice. It's not a description which is there yet. Sometimes it's necessary to define your own working field. Um, the structure of the course starts with pre-education. That's not mandatory. It's an option. Um, you don't have to apply, apply for this. It's just to develop a portfolio. It's 16 Saturdays. The students get lectures at the academy with normal lecturers, with normal assignments. And after the 16 Saturdays, the student is capable to show um, the creative ability. Uh, once a student applied and it was successful, the propodiatic year starts at the first and the second semester. And here the student has opportunity to discover what is there. And discover means everything uh, from clay uh, to film, from code to uh, graphics, uh, all different kind of classes and courses and subjects. So the student can develop and find and develop and um, yeah, define his or her um, talent as well as interests. After the propodiatic year, the student uh, goes ahead in semester three and four in the main phase. And in semester five and six, uh, the student has opportunity to do an internship, so go on stage or on exchange semester worldwide. And uh, the student in this phase already is yeah, capable to make a decision, um, has knowledge about his own interests and talents, and probably already an idea where he or she will uh, want to work in the future, so an internship is an option to test that, and an exchange is an option to to study for at least six semesters in a total different surrounding, which helps you to grow as a person as well. Uh, semester seven and eight are uh, focused on the thesis, which is the theoretical part of the exam and a practical part. And after the graduation in semester eight, the student has a portfolio, a print portfolio, a website as well as a description of his or her role as a designer and can uh, start applying for jobs or starting an own design company. And uh, some of, of the students had to go ahead with a course like a master, which is also possible worldwide. So to give an insight how the study um, is based on graphic design. You can see normal design, normal, like print design, sleeves, posters, folders, magazines, illustrations, um, little motions and animations. If a student is talented in, in illustration, of course, we develop that as well. Um, this is work from several years, from the first year until the third year. The student will get uh, information about typography, about uh, all kind of print techniques, uh, but also about uh, telling stories. And that's 
very important nowadays and it's always connected to motion. Um, what we also do is developing, for example, a game like this example or type of photography. What does storytelling mean? What kind of image is necessary? And uh, three-dimensional design, material, product, public space. And this is an example from an assignment where the students were asked to redesign a cuckoo clock. And you all know how it looks like, those little buildings with the bird in it. And this student here decides to develop a cuckoo clock based on typography. So you read cuckoo and that's the design approach. And another student, the same group, has another idea. Um, those are branches on a piece of wood and they are turning around. And uh, at noon you can see a bird on the upper and lower right. And uh, at midnight you can see also a flying bird in the upper right. Uh, both a cuckoo clock but a totally different definition and a totally different design. Another example how the students work and how the assignments work. Um, here the question was, can you design an app for a smartphone? And it's a weather app. Uh, in this case, you're not allowed to use a uh, moon or the sun as an illustration or as an icon. And the student here decides to make a collage kind of structure based on photography. And the color and the connection of the images gives you an impression of how the weather will look like tomorrow. Basic idea and the concept behind it. And another student of that group decided to make it in a typographical way. You see that the relation between the words define how much rain and how much wind, and it changes during the day, which is shown in this animation. And another student in the group with another idea, and his idea were lyrics. Every song, um, almost every song, has something with weather in it. In the summertime, or it's raining man, so if you listen good, there is a lot of weather going on in lyrics and songs. And he decided that the lyric together with a color grade gives you an impression of the weather. Same assignment, three total different approaches. Uh, as I mentioned before, motion is something very important at cross-media design. All the devices are based on motion. If you open a website or you open your phone, everything is moving. So um, whether it's static or moving, it's always about the communication goal and what you want to tell. So the students learn it from early beginning. They learn to think in images, use the techniques and tell a story, like this example of a commercial for a fashion brand. And due to the fact that images also need sound, the students get lectures in sound making as well. So this commercial on the left is completely made by, by a student, including the sound. 